What can we expect from a cheap Air Fork Money 2 Mark IV, which has been with me for a whole 2018 season? Let's find out in this episode. Let's go. Steep descent, high speed, rough terrain. Whoa. What's my verdict? This is the verdict. And now the fork's reaction for a very harsh front brake braking. The first surprising thing is the sag. Simple. Money to marker is a simple fork. Here we've got pssst, the air valve, so the air spring here on the left side. On the right side we've got click click the lockout and if you buy the, the fork or even this one which came with this bike Merida Big 9 Lite it doesn't come with the remote lockout you have to buy it separately this is the remote lockout locked open locked open pretty easy and then at the bottom of the right tension there is the rebound adjustment very easy 180 degree uh, nice regulation easy you don't have the compression adjustment but you don't really need it you don't you have all the stuff you need all the adjustments you really need even for cross-country racing let's find out how it looks like the first surprising thing is the sag zero sag i do confirm uh, what people write uh, on the forums that if you want the fork to work uh, as you'd like to for your body weight you need to put a little bit more or maybe considerably more pressure into the uh, air spring than it's, uh, it, it says here on the, on the chart. Have you seen that? Have you seen how much it went up when I uh, got off the bike? It was maybe three millimeters. Uh, so I just pumped it first, uh, then I uh, got into my like normal position riding position uh, and then uh, when I get off the bike uh, you can see that it goes up maybe for between zero and three four millimeters that means quite minimum sack or even zero sack but you know what this fork actually works first thing high speed some cornering some braking just like cross country ride uh, this fork really works it does help me it is a little bit too soft for cross country i would say it a bit more uh, hard for cross country for marathon uh, mtb marathon it's cool when i'm just sitting steady on the saddle pushing hard going through some rough terrain this fork just works second situation we are going up the hill uh, the slope is about 10 to 12 uh, percent uh, and it's very rough, lots of roots. You can see how the fork is actually helping me. The lockout is uh, opened, so I don't need to, to lock it out for all the uphills, not at all. It does help me going through some rough stuff, even when going uh, up the hill. When the ground is quite smooth, it still doesn't, doesn't pump, so you don't see the, the bobbing when I'm pushing the pedals. Uh, on this climb, I'm pushing the pedals with my racing power, so that would be about between let's say 400 350 and and 700 watts or so i'm just pushing there a lot and the fork helps it does help even on the climbs what about descents let's go steep descent high speed rough terrain don't want to just praise the fork for you but I like but I like things which which are cheap and good and this one is good on this descent uh, it works fine it is not that easy for me to bottom out I'm using maybe 80% uh, of my travel which is fine and in order to actually bottom out uh, I would have to I think I would have to just fall off some drop uh, and fail there then I would be able to to, um, to bottom out so it works in a quite linear way but doesn't bottom, bottom out that easily for me and it's quite softly adjusted right now I'm happy with that the lockout uh, I'm going up the hill right now um, the the lockout is on and I'm uh, first I'm just like going very very easily and then I'm trying to push the fork 
down to the ground as you can see it will work maybe a little bit like three four millimeters it's not much so the lockout is okay if you forget to um, to open to, to yeah to open the lockout uh, on the descent then it will still work a little bit it will not open uh, fully but it will still work a little bit and uh, for the sprints this lockout that's enough the rebound let's see how it works when the uh, rebound lever is set on the minimum this is the fork working on the maximum rebound set and this is the fork working in the in the uh, middle position as you can see there is lots of difference between minimum and maximum and I would say that you don't need more range of, of adjustment here this is just enough for myself I would personally uh, set the lever closer to the minimum I like when it uh, when it recovers uh, quickly for most of, of uh, the tracks I'm going through but this is enough the stiffness lateral stiffness is like that Whoa. It is very good. It's easier for me to actually twist the stem on the steerer than show you uh, the, the fork twisting. It is more the, the, the wheel uh, twisting than the fork. It is just stiff enough. And let's remember, this is the quick release version. You can of course buy the through axle. This is the tapered um, head tube. You can also uh, buy the straight one, one, one eight inch if you need so. So all the options are available. As for the weight, it is not bad. And now the fork's reaction for a very harsh front brake braking. And so this one is much more stiff than my RockShox RS1, but RS1 isn't good in, in terms of the stiffness. Uh, it is at least as stiff as Reba or, or the, the highest level cross-country uh, forks uh, but and definitely it is stiffer than the Fox 32 Stepcast. What's my verdict? This is the verdict. That was on the And so for not much money you're getting really good piece of fork it's not heavyweight it is just okay it is stiff enough it has all the basic adjustments you would need so i would say it is a very good fork for the price the one little problem is that the remote lockout is too expensive one thing i forgot to tell you about is that this design also helps to keep your dust seals clean because most of the mud the dust the dirt will come with the tire in this direction and it will just stop here on this booster and really I don't have to clean those uh, seals very often actually very rare I did it maybe maybe three or four times for a whole year which is very good but another interesting thing is also <laughs> that um, when I just took this one out of the box when it came uh, and my wife saw it she said oh this is gonna this is going to be green froggy she's naming my my bikes very often uh, we said okay and then i just pushed the fork like all of us do to see how it works uh, just standing in the room in the studio and my wife hearing the fork working said mm, is it really working well don't you have to loop something in there because it really gave you this um the sound of a cheap dust seals at least fork because it, it really it, it did make a sound which it shouldn't so i thought okay now it's any longer than that but i thought these dust seals won't be very good won't be cleaning uh, my stenches very well but stenches are super clean the dust seals are okay uh, and there was no maintenance of this fork uh, done by me through all these this whole season the season ends guys cross-country season ends and so on this price, Money to Marker fork, which comes also with the uh, through axles, is one of the best forks. I can guarantee you that 100%. What I'd love Money to to do would be to give us some discount code for this remote lockout because it is way too expensive for such a fork. It is way too expensive for a couple of 
you know, pieces, metal pieces and plastic pieces. It works well, but it's just uh, too expensive. Guys, if you use one of these, let us know also in the comments. It is always super precious when, it's, when you tell us also how your forks work. Maybe something fails, maybe some, I just forgot to tell you about something. Let me know and see ya. Bye bye. Ah. Ah, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Remember to join our forum.sigbiker.com where we discuss all the topics, uh, training, service, any issues with the bikes. If you want to share anything with us, join our Facebook group. All the links are below. And if you want to join my patrons, feel free to do so. And now, okay, you might watch just one or two episodes more, but then let's go and ride. <laughs>